Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LeDuc from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. We've brought all of our lovely guests back for our panel discussion this afternoon. I think this is the first time we've had all lovely ladies as our guests, at least in a long time. So welcome back. Thank you for being here again today. Uh, for our folks watching on Facebook Live, hopefully you've seen the other segments. If you've got questions for our panel, please type them into the box. We'd love to hear what questions you have. We love your comments. Please keep participating. Please keep jumping in. And thank you so much for watching on Facebook Live and the live feed on WCOBM.com and YouTube. So, welcome back. All of you work in areas where culture and attitude are essential to success, and Bianca, I've seen an oral health mint and I've seen on your interview today and all the times we've talked, you have such a great energy. How do you use that energy? How do you bring that energy? Because that's that's hard to sustain, right? How do you bring that energy into creating the culture in your office? And you're, you said you're bringing a doctor on. And so Shamar will be the one that she'll, she'll tell you how important onboarding <laughs> yes. is. We're gonna we're gonna link you two up after the show to make sure you have a little talk. But yes. but how are you gonna how are you gonna use that energy? How are, you gonna, how are you gonna get all your doctors and assistants to bring that same energy and same dedication to your patients? Sure. So one of the biggest things my leadership style is I lead by example, and mm -hmm. so I would never ask any of my team members or my doctors to do something that I've never done before. And I think one of my I'm sure my team members their favorite story of me is seeing me mop. Just because, mm -hmm. you know, if they're busy working their butts off, taking care of patients, and I see there's this, mess, you know, a mess on the floor, I'm going to go ahead and clean up. And it sets the example that no task or anything like that is below me, even though I'm the business owner. And for that reason, you know, we're just a team and we mm -hmm. all work together for that common goal. Okay. Shamar, we talked a little about this in your segment, that that culture is so important. How do you help your clients develop that culture piece, right? Not just the processes and the how you do it, but how do you, what's the best advice you've got for your clients or for someone out there with a business to develop that culture? If they don't have this really natural, uh, high energy personality, how can they develop a strong culture in their, in their uh, business? <laughs> I, I, I have to agree with her, you know, I'm the same way. I try to make sure that I also lead by example. Um, one of the biggest thing as a business owner is to always, you know, put yourself out there, surround yourself with people that can drive your, your company forward and create that culture based on that. You know, um, it's important to understand your mission, your vision, and what direction your company is going so that can allow for your business to grow and the people to grow with you. So how do you find those people? Because there's a lot of people out there looking for jobs. How do you find the right people for your business? I believe the, the way to do it, I, I'm a big believer of um, a gut feeling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, of course you're going to always look at the what they can bring to the table as far as the duties and responsibilities within you know the role uh, in your organization but you also have to have some type of chemistry or connection uh, with the person that you're bringing on board and they have to essentially support your vision and your mission and, and what direction you're want, wanting to go. Yeah. We always talk about that in terms of you've got to think about your own personal values exactly. as a business owner. How do your personal values translate into your organizational values and then in addition to looking for that technical skills fit how you know what are the things you look at you it's, it's about creating crafting those interview questions writing them down exactly. right crafting those interview <laughs> questions that are gonna they're gonna pull that thread on somebody's personality and their without coming out and going hey yes tell me what <laughs> tell me what your values are and that's, and so that's exactly yeah i that's made that mistake so many times right. before like a wrong hire set me back yeah, yeah. The, the wrong hire can set you back and and so what how can someone who's maybe made that mistake, brought in that wrong hire, we all stumble, we all fall. How can how can someone get that energy back, get that culture back that that they that they need to get for their business to get it growing in the right direction again? Well, she's absolutely correct on leading by example because that's truly, you know, it, it rolls down from the top. Exactly. You know, so even though you had a hire that didn't work out very well, it didn't work out. You're going to attract somebody new that's going to work in there and you just continue looking. But the more you continue to do the right thing, the more you're going to attract that as well. And asking the right questions to get the right person mm -hmm. in and following your intuition. Intuition is huge. We need to develop that even more. Follow our intuition, listen to that gut feeling, because how many times have mm -hmm. you said, oh, I yes. knew it, I knew, <laughs> I, knew it. I should have I done that or issue. shouldn't have done that, you know, and it could be something simple mm -hmm. or as serious as hiring somebody, yeah. yeah in intuition is such a neglected part of our critical thinking process very and true. our decision-making process. And it's very hard to reconcile all those things if you're if you're really living by the critical thinking book and the intellectual honesty yeah. and <laughs> and watching out for logical fallacies sometimes that tells you to disregard your intuition and it's really important as a leader to blend those two things together to 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 
recognize the intuition, but to also grasp that critical thinking piece and put yes. them together to, to kind of blend it into, into a good decision-making process. So you all own your own businesses. Correct. What is the biggest lesson you've learned owning your own business? Uh, you know, I would have to say exactly what you said, lead by example. I won't ask my clients to do anything I don't already do. Mm -hmm. You know, and having your own business, put in the work, put in the time, and, and do what's right. Because if your heart's in it, it's not really work, you know, mm -hmm. and, and be that example. Okay. Yeah. And now, you can say anything you want, but lead by example. Sure. What, uh, what, are, what so, other lessons have you learned so from, your, I think from being the, a business owner? The hardest thing I've found is, or the biggest realization I've found is that not everyone is going to be equally as invested in your business right. as Great I lesson. am because I am Great the lesson. business owner. So how else do I find, how else do I get my other teammates um, engaged in my goal? So it's really taking an interest in what they're doing, trying, you know, I invite them into my home, like really just taking that connection a little more personally um, mm -hmm. and, and realizing what drives them and helping them um, what realize can I do working for you? Them. Exactly. What How is working you? at my practice helping you achieve your goals? And I'm guessing they didn't cover that in dental school. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. No, they covered counting teeth and whatever whatever it is you do in there. Drilling so. and filling. And I just I want to take a second because we've had a couple people come in. I want to say hello, Donna. Thank you for joining us today, Donna. Karamza, I don't have my glasses on. I don't like to wear them when I'm on TV, so I don't so look like a nerd. So she's a local dentist as well. I got oh, all okay. the dentists awesome. supporting. So <laughs> Den friends. Dentists in the house. Well, well, Donna, if you think she's not doing a good job on the show or you want to come refute what she has to say, you can come on the show anytime you want. We'd love to have you. So, so um, yeah, so they don't cover this stuff in dental school, and and these these are kinds of lessons. So what what is your – I mean, you, you teach business owners a lot of lessons. Yes. What's a lesson you've learned running your own business, owning your own business? One of the biggest lessons I, I've learned – is to understand that not every client is going to be your potential, mm. the, the right client for you. You know, it's important to make those connections with the people that are truly interested in working with you. Um, and surround yourself with people that want to support your business and want to um, essentially uh, grow with you. So that was one of my biggest thing um, is, you know, just understanding that Clients are going to come. My business is going to grow, and just take my time as I continue yeah. to grow, and not rush it. Be I patient. Like that. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Be patient. So the right fit will come along, yes. and, and sometimes it's frustrating. It's frustrating, but, <laughs> but it does. All right, we're just about halfway through the year. We got about a month to go before we're halfway through the year. It's time to start reevaluating our goals, reevaluating where we're headed, and thinking about new goals for the second half of the year if we haven't already. Shamara, what's something you want? Something big you want to accomplish in 2018? It doesn't have to be your business. It could be something personal too biggest thing that I want to accomplish is to continue to be able to juggle it all you know um, you know being a business owner you, you have your family you know you have your business and you want both of those things to be successful and so you want to keep working towards making sure that those things are you know essentially good to go so that you know you you as a business owner can continue to grow and knowing that you have the support of your family as well all right you and me are going to have a, after this we're going to have a conversation about delegating and, <laughs> and getting and getting you some help so Delegation. you can continue to grow the business and have that great family life yes. so yes. bianca what's something besides getting your uh, new milling machine that you want to accomplish in 2018 well i just launched oral health minute and i'm so excited i've gotten so much support so far I've, i think in the last two months i've already gained like 2,000 followers awesome and so i just want to continue to grow that work on my production aspect of that and continue to reach more people well that's great everyone should go watch oral health minute as soon not now wait give me a minute and a half <laughs> what's something you want to want to accomplish in 2018 in 2018 i am putting together the structure for a, actually a school for kids to teach them how to think differently to instill these these concepts in them so that they learn it at a young age instead of you know trying to reprogram them that's sure. great because that's so much of what we do in our lines of work is reprogram people yes. to get rid of the limiting beliefs and get rid of the things that, that they were taught or just kind of figured out on their own that may not be the best way to approach things for them. Right. So, all right, we got a, about a minute left. Dana, yeah. how can everybody reach you? Tell us again. You can reach me through Facebook, through LinkedIn. Just look for Dana Berg, danaberg.com, and, um, yep. Yeah. All right, Bianca. Uh, Green Valley Smiles Dentistry, um, valeodental.com, on Instagram, Dr. Bianca Vallejo, Oral Health Minute. <laughs> And Shamara, how can everybody reach you? You can reach me on the social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And you can also visit me at my website at SWHRConsulting.com.
www.thebrookshire.com. Well, thank you so much for being here. Everybody thank watching, you. enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Be safe. I can't emphasize that enough. And on Tuesday, after you've done all your partying and barbecuing and reflecting on what Memorial Day is really all about, contact these ladies to help you with what you're working on in your life. I'm Jason LaDuc from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. If you're looking for leadership help, contact me. I'll be happy to come into your business and, and work with you or your team on getting some things going to uh, create leaders who are gonna solve your problems before you even know you have a problem. So thank you again for watching. Everyone on Facebook, we loved having you today. And the future is out there. Lead the way. Thank you.